current situation in Anambra State, ahead of the long slated election, is one that demands the concern of every patriotic citizen. Many things have gone wrong in the state and are still going wrong. In the past few months, many citizens have been murdered in cold blood, and several properties have been destroyed by an unknown group of people. Anambra State was once regarded as one of the most peaceful states in the nation until last year. All these killings and destruction of properties started during the last nationwide protest tagged NSAGs and police brutality. Some individuals, often tagged as hoodlums, seeks the opportunity to start killing, looting and destruction of people's properties. After the said protest, the burning of police stations and public facilities became the order of the day. While all these were happening, many individuals were praising them on social media and that led us to where we are today. The evil we failed to rebuke earlier has come back to haunt us. In Anambra State today, people are living in fear in their father's land. Businesses are shut down every Monday and so many other unfavorable situations. On this note, I would like to employ our states and federal government to find a way to restore peace and harmony in the state. This will enable citizens to go about their, and their normal businesses and their civil rights through voting for their favorite candidates. On the other hand, those responsible for this unrest should embrace peace and diplomatic way of achieving their aims. The betterment of the Southeast and Nigeria at large is the responsibility of every citizen. The writer said. Meanwhile, Nigerians have reacted. Someone said, all what we are facing today in some part of the country is the outcome of answers. Because when it started, uh, very many people were clapping hands for them, thinking that it will end with only police alone, especially the Southeast, where their leader gave them order to kill every police officer. They see and burn any police station. They see within the Southeast and they are burning it, killing policemen here and there. The whole the country has been seeing it. People has been clapping hands for them. Has it IG of police gave an order to war with them? They can defeat police. This is a clear answer to it. All right, sorry about that. I'm finding it difficult to get a wedding. Someone just dropped this. Okay, I believe he's trying to say that um, NSAR's protest is what brought us to where we are today, but I think I quite disagree. People that started NSAR's before uh, the hijack it, and the federal government should, should, should tell us better about that. You understand? This NSAR's was a peaceful protest. It was going on, you know, peacefully. Before they started... Uh, they, they, we, there was a killing, there was killing in a, a Lagos, in Lekito Gate and all that, and that provoked people. So many persons died. The Nigerian government, you know, so many times said nobody died, but we are seeing people in social media with gunshot injuries, amputated leg and all that, even people who are saying that they lost their, their, uh, you know, their children, their brothers and their sisters during that uh, Lucky to gate massacre and all that, but till today the federal government denied it. You understand? So saying that answers was one that brought uh, brought us to where we are today. I don't, to me, I don't think is answers. You know, everybody with their own opinion. That is what I thought about this this person's comment. Someone said, "APC is at war in Anambra, but they will surely lose. We can't say for sure." Smile now. Now lie, they don't, they win. No. Election is not their problems, but to write the results, if Anambra likes her at home, they should like, if Anambra likes, they should sit at home. Don't come at APC, we bring results, election in our, in our country is just paddy paddy. Now, so then they do one. Federal government should advise themselves. So one, this Anambra election is it's Anambra people 
and they will do the voting or Lagos state will do it it is the police officers that we do the voting or military personnel we do it all right so i just drop that i don't know what it means it's unfortunate that many civilians are losing their lives for nothing with without peace in anambra why voting life is not is nothing without adventure let our leaders do the needful i mean a round table very simple okay i believe this one is talking about um dialogue is saying that the southeast leaders should do the needful by you know asking the federal government to dialogue with the dictators someone said if as for me as a policeman sent to southeastern i will resign hmm. apc is also responsible for the city at home face the reality and stop deceiving yourself violence is never a way of achieving one's goal but one unknown gunman Court at Newe recently confessed that it was Andy Oba, one of the governorship aspirants under APC, was the one sending them to kill and cause problem in Anambra State in order to rig election. Hey, that one big press meal. Someone just dropped that. Okay, someone said free Mazin Namdekano and free IPOP. All IPOP members in the court study. My opinion in this matter is that this violence is not solutional because many people are living in fear people are no more comfortable in their businesses only solution is harmony please and we ask god for that hmm. even though nigerian government is pretending as if all is well in a number of states but it's obvious and certain that our people and the southeast region don't need a a technical advisor that our region is under siege so guys these are reactions from nigerians consigning this uh, writer's opinion about what is going on in anambra state so what do you have to say about the unrest in the southeast do you consider the violence a way of achieving one's goal share your thoughts using the comments box below and don't forget to like don't forget to share Thank you very much for...